Yo, what's going on snipers and welcome to a different sort of video. So welcome back to NHL 24 first and foremost, but basically today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new creation suite for create a team and create a player just in case you're kind of like you're looking at the new UI and you're like, how do I actually do this? And how do I set up my team properly? So this is the main screen for when you start up creating a team. You got obviously here where you get the put in the logos and the branding you have your club details, you have your roster, so you'll be able to put your players over onto the team that way. Here you'll customize your equipment for your team, and then you also have your team uniform and the mascot and its details as well. Now, if you want to customize your arena, you basically press on the triggers and you go over to this and you can start customizing all the stuff about your arena, like your goal horn, your rink style, that type of thing but there is a little bit more in depth to this. So basically, let's just go through each individual thing here. So when you go to the branding thing, you get to put in your colors here, which is nice. So you could choose whatever colors you want. You could also save a color, which I, uh, I think it saves it over to here. So that way, if you wanna save like a specific color, uh, for I don't know I think it's only temporarily but if you have like a color that you come across you're like maybe I like this you could easily just save it and then it pops up in the saved uh, category so that way you have it there if you need it for something later so that's really nice and helpful I, I like that EA added that feature and then uh, also obviously you have your custom logo stuff there is no new logos in the creation suite so you'll have like the same logos as you always did uh, but you could still like customize them on here. So there's all the color zones here, which is kind of nice though Because you if you set your team colors, you could literally just press X here You could see on the bottom of the screen that says apply team colors You could literally just copy or paste all your team colors through all these things and if it speeds up the process Drastically and you could do the same type of thing with equipment and all that which is nice uh, coming over to here to the details, this thing has always been the same. There's not really much to explain here. It's literally the exact same thing as prior NHL games since like NHL, I'd like to say 18 or 17, something like that. Roster page, that's obviously where you're going to add all your players to your team. And then the team equipment, this is where it starts to get a little bit more different. So you have still all these parts, which obviously, like I said, you could apply team colors by pressing X on all these spots. So like goalie equipment and all that type of thing. Now, what the interesting thing is, if you look on the right hand side, I'll probably make a little zoom in. You can see that it says home away in alternate. You're going to want to press down on the left thumbstick and then it's going to swap between jerseys. So you're going to want to basically do that so you can customize all your equipment first. Once you have your equipment set in stone, then you can go over to like say your team uniform and you can choose who what you want for your home jersey. Like let's say like I wanted this jersey. Then you could uh, customize the pant style by going over to here to the pant style. Let's go with like say that. And let's go to the sock style and say like that. You always have to use the triggers to cycle between the sock style, the pant style, and the jersey style. Now you're like, what if I want to customize specific zones? Once again, you need to press X on this part. And then it brings in like the customization portion of that. So then you could actually change each individual color zone of the jersey as well as like the font and what logo should be there on the jersey as well. There is a little bit of a bug with the font right now, but I'm hoping that uh, they kind of resolve that. So just to keep that in mind that there will be a little bit of a bug on the alternate jersey or the away jersey, I think it is actually with the font. Because for some reason, when you choose like say font 15, if you choose that, it automatically makes that the same font for the uh, road one in a sense. Like I'll show you guys kind of what I mean. It's a little bit weird, uh, but so there's that. And then, yeah, you could alternate uh, the pants colors here. You could also go to the sock style. And then you just have to press B to get out of that. And then you E again, and you are done with the jersey. Now, if you want to obviously change to your away jersey, you could just do that, like I said, with the thumbstick. Now, I'll quickly show you what you want. I mean with the font situation, which is a little bit weird. Uh, so you can see now it says, oh, font 15 that I chose for the home jersey is the one that I chose for the away jersey. Now, the thing is, it's not the case what's the case is I chose the first font it's still the first font so I if I go over to font 15 you're gonna see there's way less zones and there should be for font 15 which makes no sense so there's less customization and obviously like it runs into a little bit of problem with that to fix this you're gonna want to back out uh, with a different font so you're gonna want to basically choose something that's completely different to so the games like oh he's actually choosing this font so we'll back out with that. Then we go back to customize again. 
and then we go back to font 15. Now it's going to probably have too much color zones, if I remember right. Actually, no, it didn't even change it. Normally, it does change it. So there's a really big issue with that, though, where it's just giving way less zones. Like, maybe I actually need to fully back out of this situation here. And then go back into it, if I remember right. I'm trying to show you guys at least a little bit of a fix, so that way you don't run into this issue. Because if EA doesn't fix it fast enough, it will be quite annoying. Still not fixing it. Hmm. You might actually have to fully back out of the creation suite and stuff like that to get back in, but you can see what I mean, how kind of annoying it is, because there's supposed to be a lot more color zones, but it's not showing them. Eventually, once you fix it, then it'll show a lot more color zones than it should. So, uh, yeah, this is definitely a big issue, but at least there is a nice creation suite. No, not really. They need to fix a lot of things with this, but not going to go into detail with that, because I don't really want to um, demoralize the game, so to speak. But anyway, so there's that with the creation zone team stuff. You have all this stuff as well, which is customizable, right? And then the club arena stuff is basically the exact same type of thing on how you do things. So like if I wanted to customize the seat colors, basically I'd have to choose this. And then if I press X, then you can see that I could customize the colors. And I same with like the board slash glass stuff. So all of this, you have to press X to fully customize like the colors and details like that. But you get to scroll through all this stuff very quickly, which means creating teams, it doesn't take as long as in years prior. And uh, yeah, I really like this UI. It helps quite a bit. So there is create a team wise. Now I'll show you guys about create a player, which is basically the same type of thing. But I still will show you guys it anyways. You guys can see I'm currently on my roster build and just, uh, yeah, grinding completely with that. But aside from that, um, create a player looks basically like this so it's the exact same type of thing but you have basically the head stuff you have the equipment details you have like sock styles pant options tuck options that type of thing you have goal celebrations which I don't really use that often you have details for the players so the players bio you have the shot style and the skating style attributes and X factors so this stuff is basically all the same but once again with like customizing your character you're going to want to scroll through like all this stuff. So if you select a helmet, then you can select the glove style. Then you can select the skate style, a stick style. And you can even give your mouth guard. And then you want to press the X button like and create a team to customize all this stuff. So for example, with the stick, if you want to change what your blade tape is like, if you want to change your shaft tape, skate wise, if you want to change the uh, blade holder color, that type of thing, this is all in the customize option. If you want to customize what type of visor you have, that type of thing. So it's all in customization, basically, to do those adjustments. Basically, you're just doing generic things at first, and then you're fully customizing them once you press the X button, or I guess on a PlayStation controller, I would assume that's a friggin' uh, square. I don't even remember. I can't even picture a PlayStation controller in my head. I think it's a square. So, um, so there's that. And yeah, it's the same theme with this stuff. Once again, actually, no, it's not the same thing with this stuff. This stuff is always just for, like, shoulder pads and all that. So you might not really use this that often, especially in throwback rosters. But, and I think that is it. And, yeah, you have your attributes here. So there is all of that. So, yeah, that's basically the tutorial for how to use the new creation suite. If you guys have any questions about how to use specific themes, let me know. I thought I would just make a little tutorial on this uh, type of subject just because of the fact I've been using the creation suite already for, like, a lot of hours. Um, so, I kind of know the ins and outs of how to use it properly. And, uh, yeah, obviously, I wanted to give you guys an easier way of uh, knowing how to do it without kind of just, like, launching into it and being like, how do I do this specific thing? Now you should know basically everything there is to know about the creation suite but anyways guys that's going to do it for this video so like i said if you have any questions let me down below and yeah check out the uh, franchise mode stuff that we are going to be putting out here in nhl 24 thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time